This Mandela effect in particular was one of the first ones I ever heard of. Like many kids of the 1980s and 1990s, these bears were a household name. They had numerous books, a TV show, stuffed animals, and even toys. They were a pretty big thing at the time and had a dedicated fan base of children. Knowing all this, it's pretty safe to assume pronouncing the product's name correctly should be pretty simple, yet here we are. How do you pronounce it? The Berenstein Bears or the Berenstain Bears? The thing is, the spelling and pronunciation of both of those words are very different. Another product of the 1980s and 1990s was Super Mario Bros, but as many in the New England area of the United States would call it, Super Mario Bros. Regional dialects and pronunciations are one thing, but to entirely get it wrong, like Berenstein or Berenstain, that's really fascinating to me. I suppose the equivalent with Mario would be Murio with a U. It's that big of a change. So what is it actually called? It is called the Baron Stain Bears. Is that what you remember? This debate has gone on for years now. Some swear that it was Baron Stain Bears, myself included, and others swear that it's always been Baron Stain. So has the name actually changed over the years? Was there a great flip? The family behind the characters and stories, Stan and Jan Baron Stain, don't believe so, and neither does the current holder of the license, Mike Baron Stain. When asked about it in serious interviews, you could tell Mike was obviously annoyed and uncomfortable when he was asked the question. He knows his last name hasn't changed, and he's annoyed that others think so. So where did all this come from? Is it possible that hundreds of thousands of families read these books and mispronounced the name all along? It's a real mystery. Go ask a random person that grew up in the 1980s or 1990s the name of those bears, and sure enough, you'll eventually get one that remembers it wrong. So what do you remember about all this? Did the bear's last name change, or has it always been Baron Stain? I'm excited to hear your thoughts and theories. Until next time, never stop searching.